Welcome to the Blueprint OMS video tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will cover how to get started with online appointment booking. The first thing you'll want to do is enable online booking by going to the setup menu, scheduling, online booking. To enable online booking, simply check the online booking enabled checkbox at the top of the screen. This will start the online booking setup wizard. Simply click through the online appointment booking wizard to configure the settings. You can configure which location should be available for booking, as well as the providers and appointment types. Notice that you can enter different display names for the locations, providers and their credentials, as well as the appointment types. This allows you to have an internal reference as well as an external reference that's visible to your patients. The last step is to add the clinic email address for sending booking confirmations to patients. Your settings are now saved. The second step is to configure your website settings. Select your time slot interval. This determines the interval between available appointment slots on the online booking web portal. Under scheduling options, Leave the provider availability blocks are available for online booking by default checked, unless you intend to use block scheduling. We'll discuss more about block scheduling later. Your website color and font can be configured from this menu. You can configure what optional information you want your patients to be able to provide online and determine if those data fields are required information. Any information collected online is automatically added to a new patient file and blueprint. You also have the ability to enter terms and conditions to be displayed on your website. Click Save once you're done. Once everything is configured, you will want to click Copy URL or Copy iframe HTML to send to your web designer. By using the URL method, your patients will be taken to a different website to make the appointment. Using the iframe method keeps your patients on your clinic website. The iframe HTML code would be our recommended method. The third and final step is to make your provider's calendar available for online booking. Go to the scheduling tab and click the show availability icon. You will only see this icon if you have a location selected from the drop-down menu on the right-hand side. If you do not see this red icon after a location is selected, please close and reopen Blueprint OMS and try again. This will refresh the database and displays the changes you made in the previous menus. Now you can create a new availability. Right-click on the calendar and choose your provider. At the bottom of the Create Availability box, you can check the Available for Online Booking checkbox. Click Edit if you want to make changes to what appointment types can be booked for this time frame. Use the Repeat feature if you want to set up the availability for multiple days or weeks. The globe icon on the Availability Booking indicates that the provider and time is available for online booking. Once the availability is set and your website is enabled, your patients can start booking online 24-7. Now let's go back and talk about block scheduling. If your clinic is currently using block scheduling, you can continue with this. However, this cannot be combined with the availability scheduling. This will allow patients to book unassigned appointments online for appointment types that are set to online booking. In addition, the location must be configured for online booking but not for availability booking. To do this, you can go to Setup, Locations, Highlight a Location, Edit Details, and uncheck the Availability Enabled, and Update. Now let's talk about some advanced options with online appointment booking. In addition to the online appointment booking wizard, you can access some of the same settings in the setup menu. Blueprint OMS allows you to manage limited resources, such as a sound booth, 
and can prevent double booking of a resource. First, you must define the kind of resource type that you want to manage in your clinic. Examples are sound booth and fitting room. To configure this, you can go to Setup, Scheduling, Resource Types, Create New. Keep in mind, these are the resource categories and not the individual fitting rooms or sound booth locations. To create the individual resources, you can expand the Resources folder below the Resource Types. Click on a location, Create New. The second step is to configure what event types require a specific resource type. For example, a hearing test appointment would require a sound booth to be reserved. You can click on the Event Types menu, highlight an appointment, edit details, check off the required resource type, and update. There are other advanced features in this window that you can configure, such as adding an appointment description to be displayed on the website, and if this appointment type is available for new and or existing patients. Another advanced feature is the ability to configure your referral sources. On the website, new patients are prompted to indicate how they learned about your clinic. They can either type it in or you can activate specific referral types and sources to be available in a drop-down menu on your website. You can enable those referral types and sources in the setup menu. Expand the Refer Types menu, highlight a type, then highlight a source, such as billboard, newspaper, and internet. If you edit the details, you can check the Visible for Patients Booking Online checkbox and update. The last advanced option is to modify user-specific settings. To do this, you must have access to the User Administration section. Expand the User Administration section menu, click Users, highlight an employee, right-click and edit the details. If the provider has a picture uploaded on their user profile, this will be displayed on the website. We hope you found this Blueprint OMS tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please give us a call.